this is Jen. So, I got my cool camera mount. So now I have all the space to work in. This, these little pieces of tape, the inside edges of them, marks what I was working in before. I had this much space, like my hands are pretty small. That's, that's what I had. So now I have all this. Um, let me just explain first too. Uh, this is my working surface. Um, I got this idea from Jenny Belly. It was an early, early like art journaling idea and I love it. Um, all this is, I buy uh, big pads of, they're called bond paper. You just get them at like an art store, usually in like, you know, like the sketching section or whatever. Um, and they're just for, you know, pretty well art students to practice on and things. Um, like my art store that I go to, uh, it's got like newsprint and all kinds of different things. I like the bond paper because it's like a, a bit thicker than like just regular photocopy paper or printer paper, but and it holds up pretty well to wet media. So what you do is you put this down and then when you're creating things like here, I was testing nail polish here. I was doing some like, um, I was doing dirtying some edges, edges of papers with, uh, the Tim Holtz distress ink. So it kind of got all over the place. I'd put them down and then do it on there. Um, but what you do once this is all full with like, you know, your testing pens or doodles, bits of blah, 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 bits of paint and everything. Um, then you keep it like I have some layered under it. I just take the top layer off and then you have the bottom layer. Let me show you actually that you can use for all kinds of different artsy things. Like you can make art journal backgrounds for like for your art journal or whatever. I had some two from idea from Jenny Belly that um, I made some cool like flowers. You just kind of like randomly sketch the flowers. So yeah, this is like, <laughs> this is a used one. So yeah, you just go through and like, you can cut pieces out, make your pages. So yeah, that's why I do this. It's a great tip. It's definitely uh yeah, instead of, you know, getting your table gross or I had one of those like desk blotters, but meh, you gotta keep wiping it down and stuff. But this is really cool once it gets uh I thought about putting a nice clean sheet on for this video today but you know what meh this is this is what it's like to be me <laughs> all right so my yeah my camera mount came in today thank you Canada Post for delivering on Sunday what a rare treat usually they only do that at Christmas time but awesome them uh yeah so I am going to I've been ex I was excited to make a video so I am here I have had waffles. My husband makes great waffles. I have my coffee. This is my eggnog latte because eggnog is now sold at Easter time too. And I love eggnog lattes. All you pumpkin spice people, I don't understand you. I do not understand. Yeah, no. Eggnog is where it's at. So the video I'm going to make today, is just going to be kind of um, not quite a show and tell. I'm not really going to go through my journals, but I'm going to show uh, some different kinds of journals that I have anyway. Um, my friends, Emily and Jake, are thinking about starting, you know, journaling. So I thought I'd explain uh, kind of what I have going on, but there's no rules. I mean, if you want to make a glue book and then you want to write in it, you go ahead. Or if you have like a day planner and you want to like collage stuff into it, fill your boots. Don't let labels, you know, don't let labels hold you back. Do whatever you want. Okay. So first I have, well, I sort of showed you guys the little scrappy journals. These were super cute to make. All you do paper scraps, just hook them together. There's all different book binding tutorials online. I just sewed them. Okay. This is my travel journal. I was really lucky our local dollar store quite a few years ago sold these travel journal books and they just said travel journal on them or whatever but the actual text is like travel related things so location date blah 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 who you went with how the weather was all that so this I've been using uh I don't know when I started this actually quite a while ago uh so yeah I've got little things like this and see, I've got little things. Um, what happened for me is I used to scrapbook like in the late 90s, early 2000s, I scrapbooked. But it got to the point where like, I don't know, 10 years ago or so, it um, each scrapbook page would take me like a whole day. So, and it was just, you know, pictures and whatever, text and stuff. But then 
I discovered uh, art journaling and junk journaling and then I can kind of do whatever I want. I feel freer to do what I want than in a scrapbook, right? So yeah, now I just do this. So yeah, I've got my little journaling. I've got little bits and pieces in here, little sketches. This was a girl's trip that me and my mom and my best friend Heidi, oh, there's Heidi eating a cookie. And I think she, we went on a trip, just a girl's trip to New York. And I think she was like eight months pregnant. <laughs> Bully for her. She's still actually, even like, severely pregnant she still had some like NYU kid try to pick her up we were on a patio at a restaurant eating and he came over and like tried to pick her up and she's like almost old enough to be his mom and severely pregnant go Heidi so yeah there's my mom with the oh, NYPD in Times Square so yeah I just wrote and actually New York New York is my favorite place so I have a billion New York pictures I've been there like so much I used to live in Poughkeepsie just upstate so I've decided not to put New York in my travel journal anymore. What I'm going to do is make my own very like New York picture, uh, New York picture, New York journal. And then what I'll do is have sections for each place because I mean, every time I go, I go to uh, Bethesda Terrace, my favorite place in New York city. That is, uh, in Central Park. Yeah. So that's Bethesda Terrace. There's the fountain that's been in like a billion movies, the Angel of the Waters Fountain. And there's me like chilling, the boat pond. So what I'm gonna do, yeah, is have a New York specific journal and then like whenever I go, if I get like some new cool things, say for Central Park, I can put it in the Central Park uh, section. So yeah, this is my happy place. I love New York City so much. So yeah, so in this I've got different uh, road trips, uh, Okay, that's all New York, New York. Yeah, and I even put in like, there's our tickets for the 9-11 uh, Memorial Broadway show. So see, I've got my theater ticket and I've got like the part of the program. And you can find lots of stickers for New York. So I've got those all through. There's no shortage of stickers out there. Okay, so, oh, and this is Halcon. Uh, in Halifax, Nova Scotia, it's a it's a con that we go to every year. So I got those in there. PEI Burger Love in Prince Edward Island every April, which we're missing unfortunately. Restaurants compete, and they all do like different like really cool funky burgers. And we take a weekend in April and go over and have all the burgers. Bangor, more Halcon. I am way behind on this, like way way behind. I haven't done anything for ever and ever like this is our friend Mark and Claudia at Claudia's wedding in like 2014 so yeah that's how behind I am with uh <laughs> with uh travel journaling but whatever you know I still collect the things and like yeah I tuck them in there and I try to make even if I can't journal then I try to make like a little blurb or whatever like you saw there were some yeah like that I just put a little blurb so now I can put pictures and whatever in there if I ever print them out so that's my travel journal uh, next, I'm going to show you my art journals. So you saw the little one. This is just all I did was like normally my art journals, I'll like open it up, work on a spread, paint the pages right then, you know, and work on one section at a time. But this one, yeah, I just took my painted papers, glued them in, like pre glued them in. So then I can pick this up and wherever I am, I just, uh, yeah, I can make a page, make a quick page. So that's that one. That's my mini art journal. Now my first art journal, you can kind of see, like I'll do a flip through of this at some point. You can kind of see where I went from scrapbooking to art journaling. It was definitely a, an adventure. <laughs> so this was just a notebook, just a Strathmore. Um, no, no, this was, um, oh, what are they called? They sell them at chapters or like Barnes and Noble. Um, they have a little owl, e Eco Jot. I think they're called if I remember correctly this is an eco eco jot journal and I just covered it with some like funky hand painted papers I didn't do those I got that at like the dollar store but it's kind of neat because these are done in wax and I'm just like, tie-dyed um so this was back before I knew I'll show you my junk journal too I knew that like you should take some picture you should take some blank pages out before you journal <laughs> <laughs> or else you end up with this big ginormous like that is a big fat journal so but yeah same thing I started this March 12th 2009 so it's just a yeah 
it was how I kind of evolved into doing journaling like I do now definitely and it's kind of a little bit of everything there is no theme in here at all it's just things that I liked or whatever there's my arty so yeah like this one's like watercolor crayons I did a little thing like this was the side of my garage so I laid in my hammock and drew the side of my garage I had these funky old wooden ladders painted all cool colors this was a little trip to the beach this is encaustic wax beeswax with paper so it makes the paper really like yellowy this is my cat Luna and then see yeah I have pages that I kind of painted background kind of started but haven't done anything yet with yet so yeah things like that this is my art journal and it's still not done done kind of almost done there's a few pages that I haven't really finished but it's almost done and I kind of feel like I want it to be done I don't think I want to do much more in it I don't know I'm not feeling it so that's my big art journal so I did also start a journal you don't need a brand new sketchbook or notebook or whatever to make a journal I got this old book an old uh mastery speller it's like from the 50s i got it at a second hand store for like a few cents so then i started an art journal in that they got some audrey but yeah i haven't done a whole lot in this yet i can show you all the pages because there's not many but i just worked directly onto the pages of the book itself and i have torn some out of here I tore, I tore some out to use, like, because they're really funky old pages. And there's some, that's like um, artistic paste, gel paste, gel medium. There we go. So I just kind of put that there and threw a stencil. So it made it really like, it's 3D, it's all textured. And then these are ink sprays. This is done on photo paper. Those are alcohol ink sprays. Yeah, quick little page she did with Jenny Belly one time. Painting. Winnie Harlow I love her she is so pretty okay yeah so see just an old speller and that's what I use isn't that cute good start so that's that art journal um now there's also junk journals when I first heard of junk journals I kind of just like freaked out and I made one without even knowing what I was doing at all so this is my junk journal it's a sketchbook and the pages are bound into it it's not spiral or anything so I again didn't know that you were supposed to tear pages out because this thing got like this big so what I did recently was I took a bunch of pages out I think that's all of them yeah so it makes it much more manageable because I still have a lot of crap or sorry a lot of junk to go into it I've got like a big folder full of different things like so what I put in here is like memorabilia so see I just covered the book in duct tape and then I just like stapled in some things covered like that's wrapping paper scrapbooking paper some pages I crinkled and just rubbed some ink over top of them ink pad so yeah this is my junk journal this one year for my birthday I don't remember which birthday my husband got me this paper iridescent paper crown from a dollar store because he thought he was hilarious I loved it and wore that all day I think my dad was embarrassed because my dad every birthday he takes us out each kid out to, out to dinner so I went out to dinner and I wore that definitely wore that all day so yeah but yeah different things like like my little graduation tassels what else am I gonna do with that it's gonna sit in a box somewhere or like first time we went horseback riding me and my brother in 1990 we were both like kids look at us awesome there's me and Rob anybody that knows us back in college so this would have been like 1997 we filled uh, a dude's dorm room with some holiday he had gone home uh, he lived like out of town we filled his dorm room with popcorn it's pretty great in ninth grade I went on a trip my first trip anywhere to Boston it was a music trip like any music students in ninth grade every year they get to go on a trip so yeah like concert tickets I did a whole page for this because ACDC came to Moncton so I did that I got like cool store which a couple of my favorite places in Halifax 
See, this actually was the last spread I did in my scrapbook and I got it partially done and I'm like, you know what? I do not want a scrapbook anymore. <laughs> like just doing the pictures and everything, like I prefer much more freedom. I find it very limiting. Colored this with my niece way, way back when. So yeah, yeah, wedding programs from friends, things like that. Um, memorial from my grandfather's funeral. More concert tickets and things. So yeah, and this one I do have the pages done because I'm not gonna like paint it and thing like, things like that. I just wanna be able to pull this out, take some stuff, glue it in, tape it in, staple it in, whatever. Or you can make, yeah, I wasn't big on tuck spots, so this is like a pocket, but now I am. I'll definitely be putting like some greeting cards in there that I keep, like, like you know, birthday cards or special cards for my husband or whatever. Yeah, so that's a junk journal and you can do whatever you want in it. I've seen people, I saw a really cool one the other day, uh, somebody on YouTube, I don't remember her name, I'm so sorry, um, made a junk journal out of a magazine. So she just started like sticking things in a magazine. I think she might've glued a couple pages together to make it heavier maybe. Cause the junk journal, in my opinion, I kinda like the pages to be a bit heavier. So, you know, not like newsprint kind of thing. Like I like them to be able to hold quite a bit of stuff yeah just clips see clips holding things in so that is my junk journal and I use paper in it some paper that I necessarily wouldn't use for scrapbooking or anything I still have a ton of scrapbooking stuff but yeah like I'm not crazy about that paper but I'm like you know what stick it in my junk journal stick some stuff on it you won't even really see it all right so last but certainly not least is a glue book now glue book Glue books have been around for like hundreds of years. They used to be called scrapbooks. I remember doing one when I was a little, little kid in like elementary school, like first, second grade. And we had these like newsprint books and they were called scrapbooks and they had like this yellowy newsprint. And this is what we used to do in them was like, well, we'd practice our spelling and stuff, things like that. The teacher would give us a little print house with spelling, but we'd also just glue things in them, stick things in them. So yeah, these have been around for ages. So this is actually, um, I've got each one page spread is, or two page spread is a different theme. So I got this idea from a YouTube user named Caged Fish. She's really awesome. She does a lot of glue books and she does a lot of like really cute, like imaginative things. I'll link her channel down below, down, down below. <laughs> yeah. So, so it's like a scavenger hunt junk journal. So when you're going through like any of your fodder that you're using to get, you know, images from like magazines, old school books, whatever, um, you have a list of things that you're gonna put in this journal. Excuse my horrible handwriting. And then yeah, you kind of get things and you know, stick them in there as you find them. Now I kind of, in a way, cheated with this a little bit. Um, I have my ephemera like I hoard ephemera big time. I love ephemera. I love pictures. I love everything. So all I've been cutting things out of magazines for ages and ages and books and whatever, flyers, catalogs, and I save them. I have a filing cabinet full of stuff, um, sort of by theme. So I kind of already had some enough stuff to fill some of these pages, but all you do like this one, this one is nesting dolls. Oh, a little bit of glare. So I put everything in here that I had to do with nesting dolls. That's a postcard. These are stickers. These are magazine cutouts. This was really cool. It was out of like an old toll painting magazine and it was how to paint your own nesting dolls, which is kind of cool because I also have this blank set here. This was a paper napkin that I bought online. So I just kind of glued that down. So that's nesting dolls. Uh, this is more definitely to the spirit of the scavenger hunt because these are Maniki Neko. That's the Japanese cat of good fortune, the little waving cat. And I collect these in real life too. I love them, love them, love them. But yeah, I had very few images of them. So it'll be fun. Like when I'm going through magazines and stuff, if I see an image, I'll, you know, take it. Or if I go get takeout or something and there's like a little, you know, Maniki Neko on like some, you know, the bag or whatever, then yeah, it's fun to find. Day of the Dead. Again, napkins. This is scrapbooking paper. Uh, these I have stamps of, so those are like three stamps I made. This is napkins, cutouts. Oh, I gotta show you the skull. So this one, 
my husband, when he first got his, uh, his laser burner, he burned through some, um, watercolor paper and it's really cool. Isn't that really neat? So yeah, he was trying out like different papers and things. So I gave him some watercolor paper scraps. So he made that and it's really, really neat. It's almost, it almost looks like wood burned and it made the paper look like, like really brownish. This is like from a Bic lighter, but it's a little sugar skull, you know, uh, Pisanki, Ukrainian Easter eggs. I make those. So I'm kind of a sucker for those. Piggy banks. Don't know why I loved piggy banks. I read an article about them probably in a Martha Stewart magazine because she always does it to me. She like shows collections of cool things and I'm like, man, I didn't know, but I need to collect these. So a lot of these pictures came from the same ad, like all these vintagey piggy banks. But yeah, I think they're really adorable. Crafts. Haven't got anything done for that yet. So yeah, I will do a separate flip through of this book actually. There's mushrooms. So I've got sweets. Look at that. So I've got, yeah, pineapples, all kinds of things in there. But you can do, um, you can do that. You can do um, each page kind of thing, a different theme, or you can do the whole book one theme. Like, um, say you like, uh, I don't know, cake. So you want to do a whole book of cake. So you go through magazines, you go through everything, and you cut out pictures of cake as you go. And then you stick them in your glue book. Or, I mean, you can do like, family trips or whatever anything but there's no <sighs> these are my different kinds of journals but there's no rules really like people will argue between what's a glue book and what's collage which really glue booking is collaging you're gluing paper down that's the definition of definition of collaging but some people say collaging is more you're trying to make an image glue book you're just sticking it down um but don't get hung up on labels Labels don't matter. You do whatever you want in your book. It's your book. No one ever has to see it. You do whatever sparks joy. Oh, I'm not allowed to say that. That's copyright. You do whatever makes you happy. <laughs> yeah, so those are the different kinds of journals that I have. Um, I don't think there's any more. I'm trying to think, but I think that's pretty well all I have. I also was doing a card kind of journal, and what it was was individual cards, and it was like it was like my legacy art journal, which I only did like three cards and then I was done um, on these flashcards. So yeah, I kind of again went through and I painted a whole bunch of them, did like painted papers. And then every day it was like this theme in 2015. You do a different little theme. There's my little title page. So then, yeah, I was going to bind these with a, with a, like a binder ring and just hold them together that way. So yeah, there's little, all kinds of information about me that's neat I do wish I would have kept up with it but it's it's kind of crappy because around the first of the year I always get sick like every year so I kind of lose momentum with whatever I'm doing there and that is everything I believe I am making journals or going to attempt to now so this cracked me up so much hoopies anyway it's like hilarious so I've got that started. I've got it all like cardboard in there to make it all sturdy. So I don't know what I'm going to put in there and bind what pages or whatever, but that's going to be a thing. So yeah, those are the different types of journals. If you have any questions, don't be afraid to ask. Um, don't feel you need to go out and buy, if you're like for any of these, don't feel you need to go out and buy like an expensive sketchbook or anything like that. Um, just use what you have at home. Look around and... You know, do you have, like, like I said, even a magazine you can glue stuff in or uh, like an old journal or old book or, you know, whatever you have. Yeah, so that is all for this video. Thank you for tuning in and uh, don't forget to like, please. Um, if you like the video, if you didn't, then, you know, feel free to let me know and why, what I can do to improve. Uh, and please uh, click the subscribe button below and click on the little bell so that you get your notifications when I post a new video. Great. Well, thank you very much. Hope you're all having a great day and uh, we will see you later.